Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. So, today, why did I feel like I had something to, to uh, mention? No, I guess not. Anyway, hi. So today we are doing another round of these products look kind of stupid, so let's try them. So I have a few things in front of me that have either been sent to me, like these kind of look not that great, or um, that I'm looking at like, mm, is this really necessary? And we're gonna give them all a go today. We have brushes, we have fragrance, we have um, other things. So should we, should we just do it? Just before we get into that, if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Robert. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm a professional makeup artist from, from, I don't, Subscribe, follow me on, on whatever, I forgot what I'm saying. Okay, let's just go ahead and dive straight in. So my first product today, I wanted to do this with no foundation on. And this is the Artis Hyper Blend Pro Finishing Pens, Light Shadow Matte and Gloss. So basically there are four pens in here. As you guess, one is light, one's shadow, one's matte and one's gloss. Now, as a makeup artist, I looked at this and I was like, what an incredible product. However, there is a part of me that's a little bit like, okay, this is kind of unnecessary because the shadow stick is quite literally this color. So it is like a deeper shadow, which is great because contour should be shadow. And then the light is like a nice, like very natural light shade. And then we have matte and gloss finishes. So what I want to do is I kind of want to do a natural highlight and contour with the light and shadow and just see how we get on. Let's start with the light first. The whole thing just, one second please. Okay, so let's try it. Let's try everywhere we would naturally want to highlight. So under the eye just here. And maybe I'll do one side of the face first so then we can judge and see. I'm going to add like a light to this kind of like ring around my eyes. Oh, that's, that's good, right? Let's tuck some in here. What side is it again? This, this side. I'm going to just lighten up. I'm going to, I'm going to kind of look where shadow is formed on my face. You see like it's in here and then lighten. Ah. Just like a natural nose contour too. Now I, it is very, in terms of a product, it's very natural. So not a lot is coming off, but look at the difference it kind of makes. Okay, this is quite literally. Let's do something quite dramatic with it and let's try and round off this cheek and see how effective it is. Cause I mean, it's literally coming out like a gray black. I mean, which shadow should be, but we want like a tone off, not a full on. I'm not sure. I'm not sure on that one. Hmm. The highlight one definitely works. Like if you don't want to wear concealer, I mean, that I find that acceptable, <laughs> you know? Let's try the matte pencil. I'm scared it's gonna fly out. It nearly did. And let's just go in the middle of the forehead here. Oh, you can quite literally see the circle I did. <laughs> that's that's good though. Be interested to see how foundation sits on top of this. Very nice. Yeah. I don't, I'm just gonna have to go over. Perhaps I should have done this before we did the highlight, but. Oh yeah, extremely mattifying, extremely mattifying. It doesn't feel too silky on the skin either, which is nice. I don't like mattifying products that literally feel like silk. And this is the gloss one. Ooh, I love that. Wanna... Let's put on top of the cheek here and see. Oh god, that smells repulsive. But a nice glossy shine. You know what I'm gonna, I actually, don't, I really don't like that smell. I'm actually just gonna block that off. They're okay, they're, I mean, yeah, they, they do what they say they do for like fact. The shadow one, I'm a little bit, I seem to have this patch of skin here at the moment that just isn't um, taken on board product very well. Anyway, gonna keep those. They come in a nice box, so they're easy to store. It's not like they're in my way. I'm sure they'll come in useful at some point, right? Okay, what I want to do is my eyes, and then I'm gonna just like speed through it quickly, and then I'm gonna move on to some crazy lashes. So what I'm gonna use for my eyes is is the Revolution of Bratz collection. I got all the palettes. And the reason I've chosen to um, put this collection in particular in this video is because when this was announced, loads of people were, were like sending me pictures of it, like with eye rolls or what do you think of this? Or what do you think of this? I always say I love a heavily themed collection and um, Revolution's collaborations are always 
good in terms of texture. So I was sold straight away. Uh, so let me just speed through an eye look quickly. And um, yeah, I'll be back. Oh, I just want to introduce you to another product as well because I will be using it on my eyes. And this is the Hex brush, okay. A lot of people, again, sent me this or tagged me in the, the brand's post and things like that. It is basically, it comes with covers, like a Swiss Army knife um, makeup brush. So you have a big powder brush for this side, a small, like I would consider it like a, a concealer brush or something like that. And then this side you have more of a powder brush, small like blending brush, which I'm gonna use for my eyes. This is like a nice like buffing brush. Oh, there's kind of two of them, but I think that one has more of an angle. So here's the deal. This is why I thought this looks stupid, right? Because for me, a good makeup brush, let's take, for example, a Sigma brush, which are extremely high quality, amazing brushes. I have my own brush set with them. I'll link it below. They are weighted. You can feel a weight to them. There's a process that goes into this part down of a brush that actually plays a big part in the application of makeup more than you would think. So when I, for example, I saw a powder brush that was kind of like this, ah, oh, but saying that, it's weight, it is weighty, it is weighty. The weight just kind of helps with balance and therefore application of a product. And it does feel good on the skin. It feels good quality. So let's give it a go. Let's not judge it just yet and see how we go. Okay, uh, so let's just start straight up with this brush and see how it blends. What am I gonna do with so much color? Um, it picks up, how do you tap it off? I guess just like this. Okay. <laughs> okay, so here's one issue already, is I can't get to my lid of the angle I would like to because it's just going to rub against my face. I can lift it up. And I guess this will be like a travel thing, like you wouldn't, um, like it might not be your main application. Well, I guess it could be. But you know what I mean, it wouldn't be like your main brush set. Does it come out? It doesn't come out. Okay. You know what, once you get used to the feeling, so when I'm doing it this way, I have to hold it this way, and then I just twist it around when I get to the other side. Once you get used to the feeling of it, it's it's just like a normal eyeshadow blending brush. Um, it's really soft, actually. The brush quality feels really, really nice. It's It feels, I keep smiling because it feels weird because it's like it's such a chunky brush for like a tiny little end. But if we're talking about the brush itself, it's a really nice brush. Like it's doing a really great job. I, I actually quite like that. To clean it, I'm assuming. Should we just try and clean it now? It's got some like fast drying brush cleaner. Cleans up nice. And you just slide it back in. Okay, so I'm gonna use this a little bit later on. I'm just gonna finish up this eye look and I will be right back with you. Okay, so I just wanted to do my foundation with this brush as well, the Hex brush. Um, and I'm using a cream foundation and I do like to use like stubby powder brushes usually for it. So that's exactly what I'm doing now. By the way, these eyeshadows aren't so great. Just uh, so you know, they don't blend very well with each other. This brush is incredibly soft and actually feels really, really nice. I have to be honest, I had my doubts about this brush. Um, I saw it and I was like kind of gimmicky. And sometimes like, travel brushes and uh, things like that can kind of, they, the quality isn't so good, the practicality is there, but the quality isn't great. And this is kind of um, a bit of everything. I, I really, really like the quality of her brushes so far. Why is it not, oh, I've got wax above my eyebrow. Okay, I'm just gonna finish up under the eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna leave lashes to last. And what I wanna try next, I'm gonna go in with the Hex brush again and this like smaller brush. We're gonna go into Beauty Bay's highlighter. Now, remember there was that time when um, everyone was using like, um, it was like rainbow highlighter and stuff like that and it was a bit of a phase. Well, I'm looking at this and getting the same kind of vibes. So let's give it a little go with my brush. I'm just gonna swirl it in so I get a bit of everything. Oh, I actually, I really like it. You know what? I think I'm so used to using um, uh, highlighters that are just like a gold tone or, you know, neutral to my skin tone that when something a little bit different comes along, I'm like, no. I thought it was gonna be like pretty aggressive in color, but it's really, really not. I actually really like that. So I'm just gonna use a bit of blush. I'm gonna use the Pat McGrath. What shade is this? Desert Orchid. I, d I don't think this one looks stupid. I just um, wanted to use it because <laughs> I haven't used it yet. Did 
I just want to touch on lips very quickly, and I've used this before, and this is the Revolution um, Lipstick for Men from the Friends collection, and it's that blue lipstick because, you know, in that episode of Friends, it's a blue lipstick. But this is meant to be like, you know, a wearable lip balm. I actually really, really like it. It does look, when you look at it, you're like, why is that in existence? But I do kind of like the way it neutralizes the lip to then put something else on top. So I'm gonna let that sit and do whatever. We're gonna try <laughs> from Kiss Lashes Full Scara, the new way to lash. And basically the wisps go underneath your lashes. Do I apply mascara first? If you can mascara, you can Full scara. What? Step one, bond, infuse with something. Bond is non-damage and primes the natural lash to prep them for the wisps. Seal, formulated with nourishing vitamin E seal, removes any flaky residue and locks in the wisps. And this, this is this thing, by the way. And then the applicator. Applicator is unique. Oh, okay, okay, I see, okay. Now, I'm not a fan of the lashes under the lash line situation. So let's go in with a bond stage first. Do I need to put lash mascara on? So I'm guessing this is like the glue. Okay, so this is obviously quite sticky. It's kind of sticking my lashes to the bottom there. And it's gonna go underneath the lash. And the reason I'm not really a fan of lashes underneath the lash is because I I don't like the idea of glue going, like latex based glue going so close to like in the eye. But because this bonding is just on your lashes, Um, honestly, I'm actually, I think I'm just gonna take them off. I think it's, it takes more time than it's worth for not, not really any kind of, um, overall, I don't know. I don't know. Let me just grab some false lashes. Yeah, to be honest, I think it, it took a bit of time to do that. And for the final look it has, like, you could probably just have, get like a, quite a good mascara. It's a lot of like fiddling around for not much of a result. Okay, so let's do a little bit of powder with uh, this brush and get right in the edges there. Yeah, okay, okay, so this brush, is it brushes? A brush, a brush, a brush eye. I really like this. So here's the deal. I think this will be great as a travel brush, a touch up brush to take out with you. It's also kind of great for application as well. Like I don't, I don't hate it at all. It's a good product. I, I really like that. Lips, let me put something on my lips. And then what did I have? Oh yeah, and then I'm gonna finish with a fragrance. So I'm just gonna finish with Velvet Fawn, which is by Lisa Eldridge. Okay, so recently I was sent a fragrance from Misguided, and this is called Real Babe. It's meant to be like a gender neutral fragrance, basically. And when I first heard that, I was like, okay, like that's great, let's see it happen. When, when it comes to fragrance, I don't typically wear like man fragrance. A lot of man smells and masculine smells to me smell like someone's gone for a shit and they've tried to cover it up with men's deodorant and you get this kind of like horrible like fragrance plus poo <laughs> smell and it's i hate like typical men's for men fragrance because they just smell it either smells like copper no no the sil like silver like nickel i don't know it just they just have a, the most horrendous like under notes and i hate them so i tend to go for more like unisex or gender neutral fragrances in general. So when they offered to send me this, I was like, yeah, amazing. Let me just say, I absolutely adore the smell of this. It is so nice. It is, I would say, if we're, t if we're thinking about what typically people consider masculine, feminine fragrances, it does lean a little bit more towards feminine, but it's in no way like floral or too sweet or anything like that. So when I first saw this, I was like, interesting. Will it work? Maybe not, but it is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Okay, so that was everything. A few hits, a few misses there. I would love to know what you think of each individual product below. Let me know. I will actually be posting a link to, um, some of you may have seen it already. It's called Shop My Shelf. And on that site, you click on it and you can see all the products I used in every video rather than single link, single link, ah, single link. You can see everything in one. And also on there, I have all my favorite 
foundations, concealers, blushes, bronzers. So if you ever wonder what it is I like to use, then you can go ahead and check that out. There are affiliate links on there as well. So just, just bear that in mind. Thanks again for joining me and I will see you very soon. Bye.